Hey everyone, today I got a hold of two old 1U blade servers and I wanted to play with some of the circuit boards that are in them. I want to do some hot air removal, some chips, because I want to save this for my chip collection, at least this one right here. And this is a dual port 10 gigabit networking card. But I want to save this chip because, yeah, it looks cool. So this is on a BGA style, so we're going to use the hot air to remove it. And we also have the nice new power supply that I uh, built and that's capable of doing up to 400 watts so we're also going to drag it over here once I take off what I want and see if we can fry a few things. So first let's try removing this chip right here. Now I found it better especially for BGA parts to actually heat the underside of the board than to actually heat the top side because the top side all you do it the heat just dissipates too much and it never gets all the way through to the actual little solder balls that are connected. So it's much better to heat it from the back side to actually get everything to uncome, to come apart. Ooh, that worked. Okay, so preheating the bottom and then getting this off. And there we go, got our chip. Okay, let's make ourselves some uh, high amperage leads here so we can have some fun with the power supply because I don't want to start shorting out directly on my clips and mess up my clips. So we'll mess these up instead. Okay, so here's my positive and negative leads all set up. And right now we are set for 30 volts at two amps, which should give me a maximum of 60 watts. Let's see what that does first and we'll crank it up from there. Cause honestly, I don't even know what this little power converter will do, if it'll just shut down or what. So let's see what happens. Let's uh, get a negative and start running positive across here. Woohoo! Okay, well that's not doing much. That's just sparking like crazy. And the power supply is okay at 60 watts. I'm just getting sparks, nothing else is happening. There we go, we got a burn right there. We burned out that chip, whatever that was. This looks like a linear regulator. Oh yeah, the top, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Fire resistor, yeah! There we go. Woohoo, that was bright. <laughs> okay, so this is thoroughly fried. That's good enough for right now. So let's move on to bigger and better things. Let's move on to here. Let's lock the focus now. Cool. So this server motherboard originally had six SATA ports on it. Apparently an ATI chipset. Uh, probably a small graphics card built right onto it. And this had dual xenons from 2006 to, yeah, 2 gigahertz, 12 megabyte, 1333 front side bus. These two will go into my chip collection. They are perfectly fine, but useless by today's standards. And each one had one of these, geez, has to be at least two pounds worth of copper sitting right on there. So I got two of those. I'm going to save those for God knows what. And underneath here should be a nice north bridge. That I'm going to try desoldering. There we go.
There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. That was perfect. <laughs> Bye. It fried. Woohoo! Oh. Plasma. That bird right through. Hey, give me that back! Ow, that hurt my eyes. Well, yes. There goes another one. Yeah, oh. these are. There we go. Yeah, that was a trace going through. The internal trace is burning up. Bring down the fire really? Hey. There it goes. Oh yeah. Nice. That torch. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it burned over there too. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That was a good capture. That was awesome. Yep. Save that. Whoa. And there Whoa. It goes. Apparently, wherever I put this negative, I'm on a good spot. It is frying everything right here. I don't move this negative. What the heck was that? <laughs> it's just blowing shit everywhere.